What are you doing with an Uber? We don't want the Uber, that's a joke. I'm Smithy, this is a Contiki. And uh, guess what? We're gonna have a beer in the van. Now there's a few things to do first. I like to have candles burning because they smell nice. But the thing is, what's up with it? There. You need these because it's no good having a beer setting fire to the place. So we're going to put them in. Anyway, <coughs> what's the regulations regarding having a beer and having your keys? Well, I've asked a couple of policemen. What one didn't want to tell me and the other one... Well, he, he didn't want to tell me. He just wasn't sure. He said, I, I, I wouldn't know really, mate. He said, anyway, I asked another one. And he said, as long as you don't have the keys with you and you're having a beer, as with any vehicle, you're fine. So what does that mean? It means put them out of the way. But it also means don't park in a place where you've got to move. Because obviously you can't move because you've had a beer. And if a policeman says to you, you need to move, say, well, I've had a few beers, mate. If he can see your keys anywhere near you, you're drunk in charge of that vehicle. That's the law. So move them out of the way. The other thing is, if he's a decent policeman and you've tracked him all right, he might move it for you a bit further down where you can park. It's... it's Always treat these people with respect. I'm, I'm an intelligent enough guy to know you need policemen, you need traffic wardens, and you need lollipop people. Otherwise, there would be chaos. So, always respect them. Um, so, that's, that's regards of... Uh, let's have another bit of this. Oh, I've waited all week. Come on, Smitty, where's the rest? Oh. Uh, yeah, so keep your keys out of the way. What fun I've had this week. Hey, guess who was on Morecambe Beach? Uh, Sunday. Yeah, heavyweight world champion of the world. The lives in Morecambe, fancy that. Entertaining the crowds at Promenade, what a guy. Whether you like his, you know, his style or his boxing or his ethics or whatever, he, you know, he's a heavyweight world champion. So, hey, I'll take my hat off to you, mate. You've done well. Um, the kayak, oh, God, don't ask. So, I'm taking the kayak out, out of the canal. The canal's got all this metal stuff holding the holding the bank in back and it's it's like twisted with metal sticking out so i pulled the kayak out it caught didn't it i couldn't lift it out so i pushed it back in and then pulled it out it's obviously got water in it as well as rip so i've been onto this amazon thing bought this stuff and uh as i've put it on and pressed it on water's coming out so it's just been a nightmare so have a look at this well i don't know how you're coping in this weather it's anyway we've got a problem Storm shear inflatable canoe repair. So it says. I've checked the instructions and it's absolutely useless. All pictures. So I got it off Amazon. 
but it says that tough tape will repair anything. And we'll find out. So, you get a big piece and a little one. I'll show you where the hole is. I did it in the kayak, taking it out of the uh, canal. Um, the canal has, uh, it's like a metal at the side of it to hold it, you know, hold the banking in. When I took it out, it scraped on it, so it's, uh, it's put a hole in it, so. Let's see if that works, I'll show you. So there's the rip lock. So I'll let it dry. And I'll try that tough tape, see if we get on. Clean working surface, peel away backing paper and apply to damaged area. Which is the backing paper. So, hence why we need the beer. We're having a good chill out night. Oh. Never light real candles, especially if you're having a beer or anything like that, or it's very late at night and you're a bit tired. Don't do it, just leave them. Even if it's in a glass thing like that, get the fake ones like I've got. 99 pence pound shop, they're good enough. If I turn all these lights out in a bit and I've just got them on, great, that'll do me. Um, I don't know what else I've got to tell you. Oh yeah, the end of this video, alright, I, I always show you the dogs or something like that, but I'm not going to show you the dogs this time, I'm going to show you something else. And it, it's just a, just a bit of nature, and uh, I was just intrigued, I was just parked in an area where I could just observe what you're going to see in a bit. And I thought, how you know, like Darwin's theory of evolution, how, how things change over time. You know... Some of these creatures that, that we've got now are like, you know, 500 years, are they going to have arms? And oh, It's mad, isn't it, how you think? But anyway, I'll, I'll leave you watching that. I just found it interesting. And this thing has learnt where foods come from in today's day and age, you know, 2020. Um, so I, I videoed it. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you at the end. You might like it, you might not. It's, it's just one of them things. I, just, I always show you the dogs and I just thought I'd show you something different. I filmed that and I had no reason to put it in a video except at the end. So anyway, I'll do that. So anyway, so the moral of the story really is it, I'm having a beer in here tonight, right? So I've got a few cans there. I've got a bottle of wine down there. I don't think I'll have the wine, but I'll have these cans. Uh, Steve Wallace calls it step two, so I'm having a step two. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Phone's turned off, nobody can get in touch with me. I don't have to drive anywhere. There's going to be no emergencies where I've got to drive. The keys are out of the way and uh, jobs are good. In. We're in a good lay-by, nobody's going to bother us. And uh, there you go, we might hear the odd car coming past, but apart from that, we're going to be fine. Doors are locked, blinds are down. Great. It's, uh, it's over, overcast, so we might get a bit of thunder. I'll give you a little tip though, if you ever park where it is thunder and lightning, don't park on a hill where you're on your own, because you'll get, your van will get struck. You, should, you might be alright though, you're having rubber tyres, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to, you know, like I could park on Asian Bypass now and again, but there's a bench up there that you can sit on, but you're going to be the highest thing in that area, so it, you know, it'll strike you. It's like, uh, I've always said I'll probably win the lottery one day and lose the ticket. <laughs> but hey, you never know, you could be lucky. So anyway... I just wanted to give you a little update as to what we've been doing. I've, I've been struggling with a laptop as to why I've not made videos and put them out there. It's, it, that's all it is. And uh, that heat was ridiculous. I mean, I wanted to do things cooking-wise with the bush box stove, but you, what can you do in that heat? It, unless you're stripping off and soaking yourself, you can't do anything really. So I've got to make sure my mother's cool, my mother-in-law's cool. You, you know, this, that heat is a killer, that heat. Anyway, so... Remember, keys out of the way, don't park anywhere where you might have to move it. If a policeman knocks on your door and says, listen, you're going to have to go early in the morning, don't tell him you've been drinking because you, get, you can't move early in the morning. Because I'll tell you what, they'll wait for you. If you're, don't risk it, it's not worth it. I'm not going to drive till tomorrow afternoon, at the earliest. So, you know, that's, that's the way we're, we're rolling today. Step two, as Steve Wallace says, and uh, 
We're going to enjoy the night. And hey, life is for enjoying. I've got a, an uncle, do, he's, he's suffering a lot, he's, uh, my uncle, he's in hospital at the minute. He's, uh, he's going through a bad time. I did ask you a few videos ago. Let's have a few prayers for a family member. It's my uncle, so he, he's going through a, a, a bad time. He's come out of surgery now, he's in hospital. We can't visit him because of this COVID thing, so... A few prayers for him, it'll be all right. But anyway, so I'm going to leave you. I'm going to let you look at this little clip of a video that I, I did. Uh, it just intrigued me, that's all. You know, I just... I was just sat, I could watch things like that for a long time. You know, animals, I could, you know, they, they fascinate me. Don't forget, there's no doctors in the animal world. There's vets for humans that deal with your animals that absolutely charge your fortune. But apart from that, there's no doctor in the animal world. So anyway, I'll let you watch that. So, hey, let's have a, let's have a step two. Step two, Steve Wallace, check him out, he's great. Steve, Steve Wallace, the Canadian. Oh. Um, so what, do, what does the end of the video mean? What do I do at the end of the video? You know what I do? I always tell you to stay safe because I do want you to stay safe and I want me to stay safe. I want you to be lucky. So I say be lucky. And I really do want you to be lucky. Everybody should be lucky. We, should, we all need a bit of luck. My uncle needs a bit of luck, really. And uh, hey, I'm Smithy and I'm going to see you again. Hopefully.